previously on the Saddle Club. You know the girl I told you about? I just got word she'll be arriving this afternoon. So tell me exactly what Scooter said. He was totally in awe of our fabulous talent and said he could get us a recording contract. If I help you, will you do exactly as I say? Yes, of course. Very well. Everyone will please dismount. Pardon? We thought this might cheer you up. Hugo should not be here. He belongs to the past. And the past is over. Why do you ignore your beautiful horse? It's cruel. Stevie. Now that's a fair enough question, Carol. You're really making him suffer. Girl Prancer. Did you guys see how poor Hugo looked this morning? That horse needs to be worked. He's looking more miserable every day. Just like Dorote. Morning, Dorothy. Beautiful day. <laughs> Isn't he just beautiful? Just looks like the same old red to me, Carol. <laughs> Very funny. He's so focused on Dorote. I don't think he's the only one there. Okay, okay. You can say hello before I turn you out. Dorote? Hugo's supposed to be in the field. I'd appreciate if you put him there, Red. Now. It's just not fair. It can't go on like this. I'd like to announce that I've just signed you for your first engagement. What? Our very first show? It's called a gig. It's not a show. It's a gig. <laughs> Way to go. Well, you know, you, you just got to have the contact. <laughs> a gig? <laughs> a very first gig. A gig? <laughs> what is a gig? Carol Lee sent me a form to singing group. A gig is where we sing. So many distractions. You must make up your minds. To be champion riders, you must have dedication. <gasps> what did she do wrong? Lisa? Uh, um, she allowed the horse to lose concentration and come off the aids as a salute. She's in an extended truck and it should be collected. <sighs> Very good, Veronica. Well, Carol? She let him move back a step after halt. Carol, if you won't recognize mistakes in others, you may not recognize them in yourself. I know what you are doing, but false praise can be as dangerous as criticism. Now, I'd like to see a simple change. Good job. Nicely done. Nicely done. How about this time, Carol? She has her collected. She let her horse cut in at that last corner, and she's out of control. Excellent, Veronica. Do you see your mistake now? Uh, a 
A circle is a circle, Stevie. I'm sorry to be such a disappointment. <laughs> I'll get out of your way. <laughs> I just don't get her, Hugo. She doesn't care how people feel. A circle is a circle, Stevie. <sighs> Dorothea is so wrapped up in herself. She makes everybody else miserable, including you. I'm getting class. Dressage and I just aren't meant for each other, Max. I'd like you to quit. Why doesn't she ever ride him? She's too busy riding us, that's why. She's being very hard on you, sure, but... It's only because she's so hard on herself. Why can't she get over it, Max? I mean, I know it was a bad fall, but she's only got a slight limp. Maybe it's more than just a physical thing. She shouldn't take it out on Hugo, though. Hugo? Hugo has forgotten and moved on. Sometimes horses are smarter than we are. But until she puts it behind her, she can't really heal, and until she does, there won't be a full recovery. If only he could talk to her and tell her how he feels. You could talk to her. She wouldn't listen to me. I give up on her yet, Stevie. You okay, Stevie? I've been better. She shouldn't have been so mean to you. It's not fair. It's because she's hurting so bad herself, she wants to hurt others. Huh? We're going to have to help her to get over whatever's eating her up. But how? Hugo. Hugo's the key. If she can be friends with her horse again, she can be friends with everybody else, including herself. Work scooter. Yeah. You still at JB's? Yeah, I'm a uh, maitre d now. Congratulations. Thanks. You must be really busy. I mean, managing the saddle club girls as well as being maitre d. It's nothing I can't handle. <laughs> and a trio doesn't worry you? Huh? Oh, it's just that the most successful bands these days have four members, like the Super Heist. Four. Yeah, hey, good pickup. Look, I gotta go. Gee, that's annoying. It helps me think. Be my guest then. And it works. Dorothy's got to believe she's going to lose Hugo. Go on. And that will make her realise how much he means to her. That's good! But lose him? What do you mean? That's as far as I got. You mean, maybe we have to steal Hugo? Veronica! Steal Veronica? <gasps> Why? <laughs> no, listen. Veronica's always looking for a new horse. Get her to buy Hugo and... and... that might force Dorothy to... Admit her true feelings. <laughs> are we smart or are we smart? <laughs> Uh, 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 sorry. Come on, come on, come on, get in there. No dishes again. Don't drop the dishes again. Oh, come on, I wasn't that late. Hey, you're always late. Oh, come on. Still there. Maitre D. Well, um, I do show people to their tables too, you know. I dropped in because I don't think we quite finished our conversation. Oh. Well, um, if you're going to hang around. You'll have to order something. The chef's not in a very good mood today. In fact, he's not in a good mood any day. I'll have a glass of mineral water and a squeeze of lemon. So, what's on your mind? I have a proposition to put to you, as a manager. Ah, shoot. I'd like you to manage me. As what? I sing. I didn't know that. Oh, actually, my, my father thinks I've got a lot of promise. And he said he'd even put money behind my career. Are you interested in being part of it? Um, well, uh, 
I'll get the Saddle Club girls launched, and, and then you know. No, 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 as part of the Saddle Club girls. Whoa, Veronica. But don't you and the, um, the Saddle Club kind of, well, <laughs> hate each other? <laughs> oh, that's just a game. <laughs> Look pretty convincing from the outside. If I'm in, so is Daddy's money. Okay, look, Veronica, no offense, but if I line you up with Carol, Lisa, and Stevie, it's not money I'm gonna need. It's intensive care. I'm sorry. Poor little rich girl who can know how jealousy hurts her so I cry. Do Hi, Veronica. Beautiful day. Just the best. Can't wait to get to the ring. What about you, Veronica? Oh, depends on what mood Dorothy is in. Yeah, I think she picks on you. I agree. And it's not really your fault, Veronica. With a better horse, you'd be her prize pupil. A better horse, you think? Gond is sweet, but... Your father is a great businessman. I reckon you should put in an offer for Hugo. I wish my parents were rich enough to buy him. But Hugo is Dorothy's horse. That's exactly it. Dorothy doesn't want him. I bet she'd sell him for a song. Bargain of a lifetime. It'll be great for everyone. <laughs> You're up to something, aren't you? What? Us? Huh? You want me to buy Hugo, don't you? Why would we want you to do that? I think it's a great idea. And I'm sure Daddy will think so too. He's a magnificent horse. You won't regret it. But... But what? But you have to do something for me, okay? What is it? I want to be in your singing group. You're kidding. What for? But we get on your nerves, don't we? That's the deal, yes or no? Can't you read? We're closed. We open us. Hey, Scooter. What do you guys want? You can still make it tonight? Yep, all four of us can. A four? The Saddle Club's got a new member. Me. But I thought you guys, you know, didn't like being in the same room together. I told you that was all for show. Oh, wow. Well, I'll never understand, girls. Don't sweat it, Scooter. So, do I audition Veronica or...? That won't be necessary. She's part of the lineup. It's been decided. Well, it's really hard to tell what you girls are going to do next. Actually, Scooter, I'd like some more info on what sort of gig this is going to be. Um, why? Well, like, where is it? How much money you expect us to make? How many people you expect to come? Look, <laughs> I've got it all sorted. I'll pick you guys up at 6.30 and we'll go straight there. Where? The venue. Which is? I uh, gotta go. That show biz. Words got around to the other riding schools that you hear. They're very envious. I just want to thank you for allowing some of your expertise to rub off on our pupils. It is something to do. It helps take my mind off things. Well, that's what we're here for. If there's anything I can do, anything you'd like to talk about, just ask, OK? I still have trouble sleeping, Max. Well, you shouldn't push yourself so hard, Dorothy. Have some fun. Take Hugo for a ride. I've told you. I did not ask my parents to send him here. Actually, your horse is something I need to discuss with you. I've had enough to buy Hugo. How would you feel about selling him? Sell Hugo? Hmm. Well, you never ride him. You should consider selling him. Perhaps. If the offer is good. Dorothy back on that horse, she'll never ride again. <laughs> Hi. 
Hi, Scooter. We need to have a talk. Oh, right. Uh, what about? I want to know a lot more about this gig tonight, and don't give me the brush off this time. I want answers. OK. Um, it, it's all systems go. Uh, you don't have to worry about a thing. I worry whenever you say that. Uh, well, look, uh, the Saddle Club girls trust me. And I think they're going to regret it. Why? Well, for starters, is this music promoter guy going to be there or not? Uh, Jed Fender. Uh, no, uh, he's doing something else. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, how big is the venue? Well, it's not like a huge um, stadium. Yeah, so how big is it? Scoot up. I delivered those hay bales to JB's. I didn't know how you wanted them arranged. JB's? Is the gig at JB's? I'm going to have it looking like a million dollars. I am not singing at a coffee shop. It's more of an entertainment lounge. The only entertainment at JB's is you trying to be a waiter. It's hysterical. You can't pull out now, Veronica. It's so unprofessional. And how would you know, being so amateur yourself? Look, I've decided to pull out of your singing group. Huh? Why? Really? Well, we respect your decision. Yes, we all do. Fine. What's happened? Um, are you still gonna buy Hugo? Of course I am. Me buying Hugo is the only good thing to have come out of this whole stupid mess. That's not a very nice thing to say, Veronica. Well, it's not a very nice thing to do. Who's doing what? Scooter. What's he doing? He's just making this whole gig thing up. What? Why should he make it up? Oh, I don't know. Some guy ego thing, I suppose. I don't know, and I don't care. You mean there's no gig tonight? Well, if you call a sing-along at JB's coffee shop a gig, and Jed Fender won't be there. Where am I going to find another backing man now? It's not just a coffee shop. It's more of an entertainment lounge. Scooter, can we talk to you about the gig tonight? Uh, shoot. Is it really at JB's? Uh, Veronica sure moves fast, huh? Why didn't you just tell us? I needed you guys. What? Well, my job is on the line. My boss said unless I could get some more customers in, he'd have to sack me. Is there anything else we should know? Uh, no. Uh, well, the backing band have just uh, cancelled. Scooter! <sighs> Sorry. I've got butterflies in my tummy. Don't worry. We're gonna knock him dead. <laughs> Carol, listen, I'm, I'm, um, uh, uh... What do you think, Colonel Hanson? They're, um, uh, um, eye-catching. Where's Carol? Here, Dad. What do you think you're wearing, young lady? Uh, these are our costumes. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. This isn't like you. You're being so old-fashioned. I can afford to be old-fashioned, OK? I'm your father. Now, I want you to listen up. I want you to change into something a little more, um, um, uh, sensible. That's it, sensible, all of you. And, and none of you leave here in, 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 until you do. They all turn into parents in the end.
well, Mr. D'Angelo. Hugo is one of the finest horses we've ever seen here at Pine Hollow and worth every penny of the asking price. Well, that remains to be seen. If my daughter takes to him, then I'll discuss terms with Max. Do you want a leg up, Veronica? Thank you, Red. Good boy, Hugo. We're gonna be great friends, aren't we? Walk on, Hugo. Oh, he's wonderful, Daddy. Exactly what I want. Walk pirouette, Hugo. Walk pirouette. Stop that! Stop that this instant! <coughs> Do something, do something! Attention, Hugo! Écoute! Tends-toi, s'il vous plaît. Oh, Daddy, it was so awful! Ça va, ça va bien, mon ami. <clears throat> Hugo wants you to ride him. Merci, Hugo. Merci. <laughs> Allons, Hugo. And thank you, my friend. <laughs> 